Five Easy Ways to Save Energy by Eric Simonson. First, let's go over the reasons why you want to save energy in the first place. Money. Saving energy means saving money. Everyone likes money. That's the bottom line. Second, by saving energy, you are not only helping yourself by saving money, but you're helping the environment. That's right. You're actually helping the environment when you save energy. Why? It's because energy has to be made, and we have to think about the ways that energy is made. Sure, there are some clean ways of producing energy like solar or hydroelectric, but in the majority of cases, energy is being produced by oil, coal, or natural gas. This is releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. If we can collectively use less energy, then we can at least reduce the amount that we hurt the earth until we find a better alternative to fossil fuels. Enough of that. Let's get to how you can save energy. Method 1. Unplug devices and appliances you aren't using. You might think that this you might think that even if it is off, it isn't using electricity. This isn't entirely true. There's a thing called phantom called a phantom load, and a phantom load is the energy being used while the device is off. If you didn't know this, you learned something new. Phantom loads are fairly small, but they can add up. Unplug your stuff. Method 2. Run full washing machine loads. Depending on your washer, you might be using the same amount of energy on a full load compared to a light load. So, it would make sense to try your best to always do a full load of laundry. Also, if you don't run a full load, you aren't just wasting energy, you're also wasting water. Method 3. Buy yourself some energy saving light bulbs. Depending on the light bulb, you can save up to 80 you can save up to 80% you can use up to 80% less energy with an energy saving light bulb compared to a regular incandescent bulb. Not only do these bulbs use less energy, but they last longer too. Method 4. Keep the refrigerator and freezer door shut as much as possible. Avoid standing in front of the fridge or freezer for extended periods of time thinking about what to eat. For every, se for every second you spend with it open, the cold air from inside escapes and the fridge or freezer has to work to replace it. By quickly opening and closing the doors, you make it work less, in turn saving energy. Method five. This step might be the most annoying out of the bunch, but invest in more energy efficient appliances. If you have a dated washing machine or something else, think about replacing it with a more energy efficient one. It might be expensive, but if you think about the energy and money you are saving, it could actually pay itself off and end up saving more money and energy in the long run. In conclusion, it's your duty as a human on earth to do your part to conserve the very, th the very thing that you're enjoying now, so future gen generations can do the same. Thank you for listening.